Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Boltrix here, back with yet another banger. We're gonna be hopping into some Rainbow Ruins Bonanza, so let's hop right in today's video. If you guys are in fact new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also while you're at it, drop a like on the video because you already know it's gonna be a banger. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the absolute best late game strategy in the game as of 2021 okay this strategy is so so good and we actually have our powers too in this mode okay so i'm definitely gonna be changing them from that troll video okay by the way yes that was in fact a troll video a lot of you were a little bit concerned but yeah i was obviously trolling um i skipped modrain by the way i don't know how to feel about that oh you know what i'm happy because dude i have not played on patch in so freaking long okay so let me show you guys what the strategy is it is going to be consisting of the ninja, the super monkey, and the ice, okay? We're gonna try to roll. Okay, let's just keep this up, why not? So without further ado, let's just hop right into this one, boys. Good and positive vibes, and we shall indeed win. Okay, so obviously, yes, we are going to be ecoing, and we're gonna be starting off with our first popping power tower being the ice. This map is actually perfect, literally perfect for the strategy, okay? So 100%, we did luck out, and obviously, too, with us being a Bonanza, we're just trying to go late, okay? That is the goal, and some of you might be a little bit upset that I am in Bonanza, but dude, trust, boys, the highest arena right now is Ceramic Crucible, and I'm telling you, nobody in that arena wants to go late game, okay? And my goal is to show you guys a good late game strategy. Therefore, I want to go late game. In Ceramic Crucible, people are just not having it, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And that's fine, all right? So we're going to see how the strategy works out. And freaking Bonanza, all right? It is now round four. He is most likely going to be sending me some space pinks. So I'll have to upgrade to a ninja if he does. But it looks like he just upgraded to that plantation, okay? So he might have no intentions of doing so. Uh, but these greens actually, yeah, they're going to get past this eventually. So I'm going to go for just a 0, zero ninja here just to clean up any balloons that do happen to get past my ice tower, all right? And we're going to be using our first super eco boost right at the start of round five, okay? So honestly, my power combination is not the best for late game, okay? I could get like the big balloon buster and stuff like that, more effective boost and whatnot for late game rounds. But this power combination will do, okay? Because this power combination overall is good. In case this young man wants to rush me on round 13, we can rely off the glue storm or the damage boost in order to defend. And also to the super eco boost, just pushes our eco up even more, okay? So during the other game rounds, it's really, really great because it's so important to have a nice foundation with your starting eco, all right? But let's use once again, our second super eco boost, okay? We already have 1200 eco, which is absolutely insane, okay? And our opponent is going for the BIA, all right? He's got the right idea for sure because you definitely wanna be going with the BIA route if you are going farms because that obviously increases your eco. So over time, you can eventually sell all the BIAs in order to replace those BIAs with popping power towers, okay? Like the wizard for his case. So I would always recommend that, especially in Bonanza. We're gonna use our last super eco boost here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I'm just gonna go for this balloon jitsu here just to play it safe, all right? And we're just gonna be constantly ecoing practically until the end of time, all right? My goal is around 10,000, okay? That means I'm gonna have $10,000 coming in every six seconds which is going to be wonderful, right? But we can't get too ahead of ourselves, boys, okay? Because round 13 is approaching. This man could 100% try to kill me on that round, all right? We do have quite enough money in order to defend those, so I'm definitely not nervous, but you never know, boys, okay? Uh, but with the most recent update, actually, all we need to do is literally upgrade to a viral frost, and we should be good, okay? So I'm going to do that just in case if the young man wants to send me anything and uh we should be good okay obviously i have no intentions of all adding him so we're not going to be sending him any type of rush but oh he's got the spike boundary ladies and gentlemen okay that is actually a shocker okay so what if he tries to crash my game i don't know if you guys know about this but i tried to crash somebody's game by using the spike battery and going late game with them and just using like all my spike abilities at the same time it didn't work out quite exactly how i planned because i ended up crashing my own game but dude the power of the spike factory holds is unbelievable, okay? So he might just be trying that. We're gonna have to wait and see. If he fills up the entire map with spike factories, then you best believe he's probably trying to do so, all right? But it's now round 16. We already have 5,000 eco, almost 6,000 eco, okay? So our 10,000 eco mark is definitely going to be quite easy in order to get. I just wanna start preparing my defenses as soon as I can, man, okay? Because we obviously want temples across the map. Max temples, that is, too, okay? I'm gonna be sacrificing, obviously, the ice tower within that. And it's just gonna be insane, boys, all right? Oh, a little bit of lag here. 
probably because he already has so many spike batteries uh, but it looks like we are still good let's go if he really wanted to he could send us a mob don't think that's going to be happening though, right? But he needs to focus on his farm game a lot more. He still only has a single BIA, all right? So he's just putting way too much money into his defenses. Like compare my side to his. I literally have two towers. He has like 10, okay? Probably not, but you guys get the point. And ladies and gentlemen, he has revealed that he does in fact have the super monkey within his strategy, okay? He also has a sacrificable tower with having that wizard, okay? So... This is going to be quite an intense game. The only thing is, we have double stalling within our strategy, okay? That makes our strategy so much better than his, and that's why this has got to be the best strategy in the game because double stalling is simply just so OP, all right? I would value stalling over popping power for sure during the late game rounds, okay? Because if you can just outstall your opponent, you don't even need to pop the balloons. You'll be fine, you know? So stalling definitely so op but we actually did just hit 10,000 ego okay so i know my original goal was 10,000. i think i'm gonna push the limit a little bit and go to 15,000 because i actually hit that way sooner than i expected so yeah we're gonna try to hit 15,000 eco and then we'll call it a day i'm also gonna get an ice shards in here by the way just to help us out a little bit because balloons were kind of pushing for a second uh but in the end we should be fine all right and yeah round 22 ai is here so yeah definitely do not want to mess around with these ceramics but with us having this 4-2 ice, nothing's going to get past that, okay? Mario class balloons would, but I just don't think this guy's going to rush us, all right? And he's got that tech terror going, all right? Obvi he's got so much popping power, man. Like, he's got too much, okay? So, honestly, dude, since I just want to go late game, I'm probably just never going to rush this guy, okay? I'm going to let the AI eventually kill him if it happens to get to that point. But looks like he's trying to potentially go for a temple in the bottom right hand corner of his screen because he's got that sun god so his defenses should be able to hold off for a pretty long time if you do ask me all right all right boys so we just did hit fifteen thousand and one eco all right so i'm gonna start preparing my temples across the map you already know he just got his first temple actually okay so well freaking dumb man and we got so much money boys okay but you got to remember that you have to have thirty thousand dollars of each tower to sacrifice okay so pretty much like i'm sacrificing this tech terror here so it's got to be at least thirty thousand dollars worth in order for the temple to be max okay so i think that is just three viral frost for two ices should do the trick and then that will be a max temple ladies and gentlemen okay so there we go with our first temple make sure that you do not upgrade also on the right side because if you do then it's going to increase its range. Therefore, whatever is in range of that freaking temple is going to be sacrificed, okay? So make sure that you upgrade this after you have already sacrificed and made your temple. So see, when I set down this next temple, I'm going to make sure that the super monkey's range is not going to sacrifice my current temple. So right here should do the trick. And then we're going to get up our three ices, our tech terror and i might be overdoing the upgrades just a little bit okay but we have so much money so it really does not matter all right so let's just get this temple going perfect upgrade on the right side boom later all right so i actually have what five temples now okay they're all maxed out by the way but i actually ran out of money okay i currently can't set down any more temples okay we gotta let our money rack up so i guess while we wait I'll continue on with the eco, all right? And some of you may also be wondering why I did not sacrifice the ninja, and that is because the ninja is not a sacrificable tower, okay? That is very, very important to know. We mainly just have the ninja for the early game rounds, and then also for the stalling aspect, okay? Because the sabotage supply line ability is going to be stalling everything on the map for 15 seconds. So that means if we have four of those abilities, we have infinite stalling, okay? Because it does take 60 seconds for the ability to recharge therefore having four makes you have infinite freaking stalling with that all right the ice tower is a little bit different because the ice only stalls balloons that are currently on the map okay so we're gonna have to make sure that we have a few more ices than we do with the sabotage supply lines all right but it's hard to also too to like time up perfectly every 15 seconds to use the sabo ability so normally i just get five or six just to be safe in case i mess up the timing because like honestly there's like a million things going through my head during the late game rounds okay so i'm not too worried about timing it up perfectly and y'all shouldn't be either all right but yeah i think our goal is going to be twenty thousand eco um obviously the more the merrier for sure but i want to have it looking pretty looking nice and pretty so yeah i want to shoot for twenty thousand eco and then we should be good all right all right boys so now we have twenty thousand and two eco all right so quite a bit he ended up boosting to this ai all right so he's got to get more defenses on the map i'm honestly scared 
he's eventually going to die to the AI, right? Which definitely I thought he would survive a little bit longer, but maybe not, all right? But I'm going to go for more temples, obviously, so I'll catch y'all in a bit. <clears throat> and here comes the first ZOMG. I accidentally sacrificed one of my towers, okay, or my temples. That happens, okay, but not the end of the world by any means. We should be able to pretty much fully defend this, all right? Yeah, we already popped in the layers way quicker than him. Uh, but I'm confident that he could defend it, right? He got way more tech terrors down on the map. I don't know why, but that freaking single tornado was like, why? Literally, why? <laughs> that is not going to be doing anything for you, man. Okay, but easy, easy defend for us, all right? We're going to continue on with these temples. Oh, he and boost again? No way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he ends up boosting again. I don't think he really needed to do that. I honestly think he would have been fine. Wait, no, it's pushing. It's pushing, man. Okay, so... He's gonna end up being good. I don't think this game is lasting much longer, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Unfreaking fortunately, I thought we we're gonna be going way, way later. Also, too, his powers are not that good. It's only improved tower boost, I believe. So, dang, man, okay, but I'm gonna continue on getting my temples, do my thing, you already know. Like, we still have so much of the map to fill up. Like, this is insane. Like, it's crazy how much of a difference our temples are compared to his. Like, our temples are so much stronger. It's actually nuts, okay? So that's the power of making your temples max. I mean, look at the ZOMG though. We still have yet to pop down. Like, obviously we're gonna be fine, but the fact that it took that long to pop off that ZOMG layer, that is insane, boys, okay? But we're gonna be able to defend. He might just die to that ZOMG, okay? It's really pushing. He's gonna have to use his tech terror abilities. 100%, he ends up doing so. Come on, man, you've got this. I'm gonna give him a well done. Holy crap, with a boost, he should in fact be fine. Oh my gosh, it is pushing though. It, it really did push that time. Whoo, whoo, Holy <laughs> crap, okay, so let's get this next temple going. Holy crap, okay, my temple placements are on freaking point, boys. But we're gonna be all good against that, yeah. He's, he's gonna go down, man. See, no stalling within his strategy either, boys. I mean, we're really not utilizing our stalling, but it's just that our temples are so much stronger. But no stalling within his strategy. That screwed him over, and that is exactly why this freaking strategy is the best in the game, all right? We've got the strongest tower, and we've got double stalling. It doesn't get any better than that, boys, okay? So, pretty sure he just went down to that AI, all right? I'm gonna get that last temple, and yes, he ends up going down, okay? So, that's gonna be a GG. Sucks to see that he dies to the AI, but still a fun game, and I hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy today's video. Don't forget to drop a like on it if you did. And also, while you're at it, make sure to click that subscribe button. All right, so the last question I asked y'all in the last video was, were the players in the last video that I played against cheating, all right? And the answer is obviously yes, all right? So this guy won, congratulations, man. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, just go watch the video that's titled, This Blue and Steady Battles Video Will Trigger You, all right? And the next question I'm gonna be asking you guys is, what is the best strategy in balloons td battles all right make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video which is obviously dope i hope you boys enjoy once again it's visual bull tricks or justin peace out everybody